The Zone are pleased to introduce Jennifer Pinches. Jenny was the key part of our London 2012 Team GB. Hi Jenny. Hi Donna. Jenny, could you tell us a little bit about the experience in London? What was your main highlight? Oh, now that's a difficult question. Um, well, there were lots of highlights. Walking out into the arena was amazing and the crowd's noise. Um, finishing my floor routine after I got a personal best in the team final was a really good moment for me. Um, and even the judges were smiling back at me, which was just so nice. Um, and then after the Olympics, there were just loads of little perks and stuff that I got to do, which are really exciting, like um, doing a little bit of work um, commentary with Olga Corbett and Matt Baker. Oh. Yeah, and um, just places we got invited, and we, you were made to feel really special as being an Olympian, and it was a really special experience. That's great. Um, can I ask you how you felt initially when you first found out you were going to be part of the Olympics? Oh, so we got a phone call. Um, we knew we were going to be given a phone call to say if we were in or if we were out um, at a certain time between, you know, like the hours of two or three. I forget the exact time. Um, so I was like, I'm not hanging around with my phone, just waiting all day. So I went out into Manchester with my mum. We were just uh, eating lunch and then my phone rang. And I was like, oh no, I ran outside this restaurant, I sprinted outside, um, and it was the technical director, uh, who at the time was Adrian Stan, um, and is now my former coach, Amanda Redim. Um, and he just said, you have been selected for the gymnastics team. And I was like, oh, so much relief and joy and uh, uncertainty that it was really true, and I'd heard that I was in the Olympic team. Um, and then I confirmed it with everyone else and went rang all my family and let them know the good news. So um, I'm sure it was a, an amazing experience, but can you remember back at all to your first competition and when ah. you first entered the arena? Yes, actually. Um, it wasn't a real competition. Um, it was one of those fun, take part, everyone does well. And um, actually part of it was getting my dad out from the audience to do a handstand competition. Um, but at the end of the day, I won a yo-yo. I was quite pleased with myself. Excellent. <laughs> Jenny, could you tell us about the highlights from your career to date? Well, um, obviously competing internationally for Great Britain, so many highlights. Um, I mean, you get to travel all around the world. I've been to Tokyo, Australia, China as part of the Beijing Olympic Experience Programme in 2008, um, which were all amazing places to see and visit. Um, obviously I've done lots of little exciting things that I've been able to model for the zone here, which is very fun. Um, and um, I've been invited for a tour of the House of Commons, I've got to meet celebrities and stuff. We went to a Jesse J VIP concert. There's just been, I can't really list all of them, but there's just been so many different opportunities being given to me as being part of the senior gymnastics team for Great Britain. Okay. Um, Jenny, I wonder if we could uh, ask a few questions that have been posed by fans uh, and tweeted to us. Mm -hmm. Jenny, first one, first question. Lots of people have asked this. How do you keep motivated? Yeah, well, training is obviously very difficult, so there is mostly self-motivation involved. Um, I'm quite determined and quite stubborn with my goals, so I want to get to 2012, that's what I'm going to do. And it did involve a lot of training, a lot of hard work, but along with the support of my family and my coaches and my teammates, fortunately I was able to get there. That's great, that's great. How many hours do you train roughly per day, per week? Um, up to the Olympics I was training six days a week. Um, I don't, about 35 hours, but we used to train for up to eight hours at a time. But you really do have to commit yourself um, to training, you know, 100% if you want to reach your goal of the Olympics. Another question that we've had um, quite a few people ask is about um, your advice. Obviously, you've inspired quite a few gymnasts out there. So do you have any advice for somebody that hopes to be in, uh, out there in Rio or even in 2020? Yeah, um, I think the most important thing is to just, if you've got a goal, don't give up on it keep training towards it, um, listen to your coach, and just do anything extra that you can think of. So show off that extra bit, 
um, try with your knees and your toes and your fingers and every little thing that you can do, pushing to have more goes and train harder. And if you really want to get there, then you'll be able to. Oh, thanks, Jenny. That's really helpful. <laughs> Jenny, you achieved a PB in the Olympic team finals on both floor and vaults. Yeah. Do you want to tell us, are either of those your favourite apparatus? Do you have a favourite Jenny Pinch's move? <laughs> um, I, my favourite apparatus has always been the floor, I think, um, because I like the choreography and the dance element of it. Um, I'm not sure about my best piece of apparatus. I mean, in 2012, I won the British Championships um, on beam um, and but recently in the past year my vault got a lot better so um, I think I've generally been an all-rounder in my career. Okay and a favourite move? Is there a signature <sighs> um, move? I've tried so many moves I mean you want to get your routines right so when you're training for the Olympics I've honestly tried every move there is on the beam and on the floor and I've competed most of them. I, mean, I don't know if there's any record for the most of different moves competed, but I wanted to get those routines right. So um, I've done so many. Um, I don't really have a favourite one. The, I think the most satisfying ones are the simple ones that you can do perfectly. Um, backward jolt handstand. I like the feeling of the the rotation and the stop in the handstand, which is just a basic skill, but I just really enjoy it. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Um, so away from the Olympics, you've mm -hmm. had some time off. What have you been doing with yourself? Yeah, um, well I've now retired, <laughs> which sounds stupid, at age 18. Um, <laughs> but as my gymnastics career went, I was always aiming for the Olympic Games, and I've done that. So I feel there's no shame in saying that. Um, and I've been for two months volunteering in Ecuador um, as part of a program to help smaller communities and also do a little bit of traveling um, which was with the group um, and my cousin which was really fun and now I'm back at school well finishing off the A-levels that I wasn't able to do in 2012 because I was a little bit busy <laughs> um, and yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment. Okay so what about plans for the future? What's next? Hopefully I'll make it to university. Um, that's it really. Uh, I'm just going to see what other opportunities come my way and you'll have to keep following me on Twitter for updates on what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, you have, I noticed, done a little bit of presenting and commenting with the BBC as well over the Olympics. Is that an avenue you'd like to follow? I would like to follow um, a career like that if I was able to, um, starting off with that thing I did um, at the Olympics and maybe doing a bit more, but we'll just have to see what happens. Thank you, Jenny. You're Thank welcome. You. It's been a pleasure to talk to Jenny today and the Zona delighted to have got to know her over the years. I'm sure she's inspired many up-and-coming British gymnasts. Shh.